talk us through the decision that led you to compete in this competition because you have done competitions in the past right but yeah. i want i want to get your take on that so that our audience can learn a little more yeah absolutely um so i sent in my pre-screening tape in march um but i had thought about and you know planned on applying for it since like december or january i would say um, so this whole process is like a, I don't know, nine or 10 month long journey. <laughs> um, and it was actually because I think what I heard was that this year, the application for the Indianapolis was more, they had more requirements than any other year. So they had, okay, let's see if I can remember this correctly. They had Mozart violin concerto uh, first movement and they needed two, uh, movements from the from Bach and <clears throat> I believe it was uh, one Paganini Caprice and then a full uh, concerto. So that, and I think that's it. Um, so that is actually a quite a large amount of repertoire that you need for just the pre-screening. Um, and I think like what I said, they this was the first, maybe uh, the first time that they had um, had so many repertoires required for the application. And um, and also they had the requirement that like, you know, for, for these in, in between the movements, like for Bach, for example, or for the concerto, it had to all be done uh, in the same concert, in the same performance. Um, it's not something that you can do it take one day and then do the other movement the next day or something like that. Um, so anyway, the application itself was, uh, you know, there was a lot to prepare. And also they had, I think, three recommendation letters that was required as well. Um, but anyway, I finally was able to send it uh, in March. And um, yeah, and, and I, you know, this competition means a lot to me because my family kind of saw this competition like the Olympics, um, you know, it being held once every four years. And when I was like, I don't know, like nine years old, <laughs> I would just kind of gather around with my family and we would watch the live streams of this competition. So I, I really watched it growing up um, once every four years. It was actually like more exciting than watching the Olympics because it was violin. <laughs> so I like, course, I right? yeah, of course. I mean, like, <laughs> I I, it's, it's so, it's so funny. We're talking about this because like, the World Cup is happening. I know, at, right? At it's happening. Right? Yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. And it's yeah. so weird. First of all, it's weird that it's like in like November. Normally, it's like in the summer, but that's weird. Insane. But yeah, but I do, I do very much um, understand that like a lot of you know violinists that I talk to, you know, competitions and you know winning orchestra auditions are kind of like Olympics because they don't come around often. And oh, they don't. There's so many factors that are involved too. I mean, there's just yeah. It, but you know, as a nine-year-old when I was like just starting to play sort of um you know watching people that can actually play these repertoire and you know uh, are ready to perform and all that stuff it, it was it was a really cool learning experience for me and um when I was young I was like oh my god what if one day you know I could just be in the first round it'd be really cool you know just to participate in, it in some way um and you know, the last couple of times I, like the well, four years ago, the previous time um, I wasn't able to apply. I had concerts at that time. So um, the timing never really worked out. This was my first time applying for Indianapolis. Um, and I really want to do it because I think this would be one of my last times because they had an age limit. I'm 28. So it's like, <laughs> um, I was like, I, this, I got to try this. You know, this is my last shot. You're like, I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, I know, basically, <laughs> like, all these youngsters. 